The Toronto Maple Leafs hoping to snap a four game losing streak tonight at Scotiabank Arena when they host the Tampa Bay Lightning. The team's assistant GM Dr. Haley Wickenheiser continues to be a leader on and off the ice. Uh, if this campaign be the MVP can save lives just from people just saying, hey, maybe I should get screened. Uh, I'm high risk. Then, uh, you know, it's something that's that's kind of cool. That's why you go through all of the all of the work and all of the years grinding it out to to get to this point. Well, Wickenheiser's schedule is packed between the Leafs and being a medical doctor. She's hoping to change the odds on lung cancer in Canada, a cause close to her heart as her grandfather died from it. And so, you know, it hits home for me. Lung cancer um, is actually, you know, one of the most common cancers in Canada. Um, and we know that like 50% of people that are diagnosed in Canada are already at stage four. So when you're at a stage four cancer, those are really tough odds to survive. I know that lung cancer and cancer research wasn't your field that, you know, you're studying to become a doctor, what you're mainly doing right now, but can you kind of talk about the challenges when it comes to lung cancer because it is such a silent, deadly disease? Well, yeah, I think you, you nailed it, Lindsay. A lot of people, they don't have symptoms. They they might come in with like a slight cough or maybe they feel a little bit short of breath, but a lot of times there is no warning sign. Um, some of the risks and the warning signs are, are very obvious, you know, hoarseness, loss of voice, trouble breathing, like the things that you would attribute to your lungs. But then there are there is sort of a silent aspect to this. As a doctor, she saw firsthand how cancer can impact someone's life. When I was in med school, I did uh, a few rotations in surgery, and uh, one of those I spent with the lung surgery team. So I actually was involved in uh, surgeries where they were treating patients with, you know, stage one to four lung cancer. So just getting a chance to see what a healthy lung looks like, what a unhealthy lung looks like. You know, there's nothing more scary as a patient than to not be able to breathe and 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 struggle um, as a human being. And so, I you know, when I was approached with with Merck with be the MVP campaign and in, in their third year, it just made sense. It's really easy for me to support this. Back on the ice, it's a big week in the hockey community. A new class of the Hockey Hall of Fame will be inducted. Wickenheiser was inducted back in 2019, and now her former teammate Caroline Ouellette will get the honor this weekend. Yeah, really happy to see her going in the Hall of Fame, and it's a very fun weekend. Um, I hope everyone that's inducted enjoys it. It flies by, and they do a nice job to make sure the uh, honorees and their families feel uh, pretty special. It's a cool thing. And in some Blue Jays news, three Jays have been named Gold Glove winners by MLB for this past season. Kevin Kiermaier, Matt Chapman, and Jose Barrios. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.